people ask me, what are the prerequisites for learning to kite foil? Well, one is you have to be a kite master. You have to be able to fly the kite in all conditions without looking at the kite. You have to be able to fly the kite one-handed um, because that helps you to get a much better body position. There'll be plenty of times you'll be flying one-handed. You'll be able to power stroke the kite one-handed, fly it in the full range of motion, and fly it instinctively. You also have to be able to relaunch the kite in almost any position and handle the kite through a wide range of winds. So be able to fly the kite when you're really overpowered, fly the kite when you're really underpowered. Also know how to trim the kite and adjust it so when it's back stalling you can compensate and you're doing all those things. I personally think it's also helpful if you know how to do down loops, basic kite loops. So if you're running out of power in super light wind, you can down loop the kite for extra power. There's a lot of situations in kite foil boarding where a kite loop is going to save you. Um, also, uh, we started getting requests from people who want to learn on a foil board as their first kite board. Uh, we, we tend to discourage that because there's a lot of easier boards out there. Kite foil board is very demanding and requires a lot of concentration and you know, a lot of technique to use. So we recommend starting out on a twin tip board. It's a no-brainer. It goes both ways. You don't have to switch your feet around. So that's the best board to start out on. So maybe someone who's done one year on a twin tip. Then we say, if you want to do a kite foil board, it's basically a directional board. You do have to change your feet. You do have to turn it one side to the other. So we recommend getting on a directional board. Learning on a directional board is a great preparation for the kite foil board. Finally, we recommend getting onto a kite foil board. And once you start going on a kite foil board, don't go back on any other board. Stay on this board and learn and be patient and stick with it. If the first time it starts to get tough on the kite foil board, you run back to your easy board that you know how to use, you know it's an easy way out. But also, there are things, techniques and uh, instincts that you're going to be learning to use on the kite foil board that you're going to unlearn if you go back to your old board. So once you jump onto the foil board, stick with this, don't ride any other boards until you've got it mastered.